This video will be about field stripping the Mossberg 590A1 pump action shotgun. For your viewing pleasure, I'm going to break this up into two parts the disassembly or field stripping and the reassembly procedures. Stay with me till the end of part two and I'll show you a recommended function check procedure according to the Mossberg Field Armorer's Manual. If this is your first time here, please be sure to subscribe to the DFI channel and click the notification bell to stay updated on all the Defensive Firearms Instruction videos. Riley Schrader here with Defensive Firearms Instruction. I'm a retired cop and personal firearms trainer. I help new and veteran shooters get or improve their defensive shooting skills by teaching the art, science, and laws of self-defense, whether guns are involved or not. First, let's talk about some nomenclature, and then we'll get into the field stripping procedure. So here are the parts laid out, and we'll go over some nomenclature real quick, and in order of disassembly. After you've cleared your firearm, that's the most important thing to make sure the magazine's empty and the chamber is empty, you're going to remove the the magazine end cap, whether it's an extended cap or, or not. Take the magazine tube spring out and then you can remove the barrel. Then you're going to remove your trigger group by pushing out this trigger group pin first. Remove this from the action. And then you can take out your shell stop and interrupters here. Next is going to be the bolt slide, the bolt itself, and then the, the action bars or the pump that are connected to the action bars. And finally, you're going to remove the elevator. Remember the trick to removing the elevator is to have the safety button in the rearward position so it allows some room for you to manipulate the pins of the elevator assembly. The very first step to perform when field stripping any firearm is to ensure that it's completely unloaded. With pump shotguns, the first thing you're going to do is check the magazine tube to make sure that it's completely empty. And then you're going to open the action and ensure that the action is open by visually inspecting it and physically inspecting it. After you've done that and you're sure that the firearm is completely unloaded, then you may begin the rest of the mechanical field stripping operation. For the Mossberg 590A1, you want to position the bolt at about the halfway point in the ejection port. Then you're going to unscrew the magazine end cap, whether it's an extended magazine cap like this or the standard cap, doesn't matter. That's the next thing you're going to take out. This is under some spring tension, so make sure that you hang on to it so the spring doesn't go flying across the room. Take the spring out and set that down. Now you can remove the barrel. Push this forward like so and set that aside. The next step is going to be to remove the trigger assembly. Do this by pushing out this trigger assembly pin Push it all the way, make sure that you hang on to this pin, set that down, and then pull the trigger assembly up using the forward edge as a pivot point. So you're going to rotate this in this manner. Pull up on the trigger assembly like this, lift it out, and set it aside. Now that these internal components are visible and able to be removed, the first one that you're going to take off is the cartridge interrupter and there's a little pin over here that aligns it up you can just push it like that and it'll come right out 
if it's stuck at all. Often these will fall out, uh, but not to worry. They're supposed to be that loose. The next one's going to be your shell stop. That's going to be this guy right here, and he just lays into that groove. Set that aside, and now you've removed those two components. Your next step is going to be to remove the bolt slide. That's this part here. Now it's important that this be lined up with the grooves here in the action so it can lift straight out through those grooves like that. Set that aside. And now you can push your bolt straight out through the front of the action and set that aside. Finally, you're going to remove the elevator by pulling up on this uh, forward edge and then pinching these bars so they disengage. Now the trick here is to make sure that you have put the safety in the off position so there's room to work. And finally, you're going to remove the, the action bars themselves. Just slide the, the forward, ed, forward edge completely off and now you've completely field stripped your Mossberg 590A1. All you need to do is clean it up real good, uh, lubricate lightly as needed, and then you're ready for reassembly. If you're in the Southern California area and would like to be mentored in the art, science, and laws of self-defense, send me an email through my website. The link is in the description. If you like this video and want to learn more about defending yourself with modern small arms, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell to stay updated on all the defensive firearms instruction videos. I'm Riley Schrader. Thanks for watching and see you next time with Defensive Firearms Instruction.